What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. And uh, this video is going to be a little bit different today because I am not working on this bike. Today I'll be working on my car. I'll be upgrading the brakes to increase the stopping power as the stock brakes um, have some fade to them. You step on the brakes and then it grips and then it starts fading. So I want to fix that problem today by upgrading the brake system. So this is my 2014 Subaru Impreza WRX. It's uh, pretty much stock um, on the exterior. And I'll be upgrading the brakes today. So I want to get rid of these stuckers. Um, I think the rotors are warped a little bit because it has a slight shake during the braking. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade them. So here we have my uh, upgraded brakes. These are from a 2014 Cadillac ATS V. Uh, these are Brembo's. Um, I bought these brakes on eBay. Uh, I guess they came out of like a wrecked car or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but I got them for dirt cheap, man. They were like 70 bucks a piece. So they were really cheap. And this is the mounting kit that you'll need to mount those brakes to the uh, uh, to the Subaru um, spindle. These are the spacers, and these are the 2005 STI rotors. They're five by 100 because the WRX is the five by 100 log pattern. We just press these out and press these in, and they come with these bolts that fit perfectly. So no drilling necessary. So let's get started. Um, I think the first step would be is to clean these up. Um, that's just how they came. Uh, good thing they didn't cut these brake lines. Um, I'm guessing the brake fluid is still in there. Well, some, some is still in there, which is good. I'm going to probably reuse these pads because they still have a lot of life left on them. Um, good thing is it comes with, it comes with everything. I mean, they came off straight off the car. It comes with the, with the hardware and everything. So we're going to utilize all that. And right now we're going to get to cleaning. So these pads are Brembo, definitely going to reuse them, they still got a bunch of life, I mean they're like 70% maybe, still got a, a lot to go before it starts squealing on here, so I'm going to reuse them, not wrong with them. So now to press these out, I'm going to leave the bolt in here and I'm going to go to town with a hammer on this and they'll come right out. That's about it. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the next one and we'll move on to cleaning. So I'm just going to use some simple green all purpose cleaner um, and spray everything down, clean it up, dry it, and get it ready to install.
I do have this uh, Dupli color um, paint, um, but you have to use a brush to apply the paint. I have black and I have red, but I'm thinking I want to spray paint it um, because I don't like uh, using the brush because it leaves like kind of streaks. It's a chemical brush. So it's kind of rough, it'll, it'll leave some streaks on the calipers. So I'm gonna go to the store real quick and pick up some paint. And we're back. I got the uh, some green paint, lime green. This is some engine enamel, so it should withstand the heat. I got some clear coat as well, make it nice and glossy. I'm gonna paint them uh, this lime green color. Um, the only thing that we need to do before painting these um, calipers is we need to clearance them because this ridge here, I don't know if you can see that, There's a small ridge here that we need to shave down. Um, I'm gonna use a grinding wheel. I wanna grind this down some. There's like a millimeter that I need to shave down so it doesn't hit the wheel um, because these barely fit in here. The bottom one is no problem. There's plenty of clearance here. It's this, this part right here towards the top. All this I need to shave down. Okay, so I took everything off. I just left the caliper hooked up. It's still back there on the control arm. So now what I need to do is I need to cut this heat, this uh, dust shield and when he's a grinder, I want to cut it down like that from here to here pretty much because it's going to interfere with the, uh, with the Brembo. Okay, so now we need to get these little inserts into the uh, into the caliper. They need to go in like this. They need to be pressed in. And because I got a vise, I'm going to use the vise to press them in. So let's get started.
I think we did it. Oh no, that weight. That stupid weight is rubbing on it. Stupid weight. Man. I think it'll clearance itself out. <laughs> That sucks. So this one is fine and you can see how much how much space I got there clearance. The only issue is is these weights. They're hitting on it on the wheel. Um, I don't want to shave it down anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these weights off. I'm going to have to take the car and get it rebalanced anyways. So when I do this I'll pop these weights off and I'll place them on the other side of the wheel um, because they're hitting the they're hitting the caliper. On the bottom here is plenty of room, but this one here hits, so I'm gonna have to get that re redone. I gotta say, this is uh, perfect weather for doing something like that. it's the next day so um i went ahead and i painted the uh calipers but the issue is the paint wasn't sticking uh, i'm not sure what it was maybe it was too humid or was it too cold uh, i don't know it just did not bond to the uh caliper so 
this is what they look like and i mean you can see right here they're just chipping off it doesn't it doesn't stick to the um caliper whatsoever it just it just comes off really easy like chips away so so the sandblasting isn't an option because uh there there's a line and it's like three months or something you gotta wait before you get in i called like four different places here in jacksonville and everybody's super busy so what i'm going to try and do because this paint peels so easy i'm going to try and pressure wash it see if my pressure washer will do the trick so let's give it a try guys so I got these cleaned up as you can see and the way I did it is with gasoline I used a spray bottle sprayed some gasoline on them used a toothbrush and it came right off and I went to the store got some brake clean sprayed them down with with some brake clean uh, to degrease them and now uh, I taped them up as you can see I'm gonna try and paint one of them uh, just a small area in the back probably this one right here I'm just going to paint like a small area right here in the back and I want to see how the paint adheres and if it adheres like it should I'm going to go ahead and paint the the, the, the rest of them okay so um, I'm really happy how the paint stuck and it's on there for good I guess I just didn't do a good enough job degreasing the first time I painted but uh, anyways let's go ahead and finish painting them both So I gotta say, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, the red looks so good. Um, it looks really good um, in person. The camera doesn't do it justice. These are the um, high temp caliper uh, decals that I'm gonna be putting on these. The paint's still a little tacky. I don't wanna touch it too hard, but it's still, it's still a little tacky. So I'm gonna let it dry overnight and uh, we'll be installing them on the car. So I got the car all jacked up. I'm getting ready to take the wheels off, take the uh, calipers off. I'm gonna get ready to install the new ones. But before I install them, I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, Brembo stickers on them. Man, I gotta say, these things look so nice. Let's go ahead and put them on the car.
So that's how it looks installed. Man, I'm super happy with how they came out. So good. Yep. Man, that looked massive compared to the stocks. These are huge, huge upgrade. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to compare the size of the rotors and the pads. As you can see, the STI rotor is much bigger and the contact, the surface, uh, I mean the contact area of the pad is much greater as well. If you compare the two pads, I mean, this is much, much bigger. This pad right on here, it's a much bigger um, surface area, contact area, I mean, compared to that. As you can see here, what this will be, this takes, this utilizes this whole rotor, which is, is significant. So I'm hoping to feel a big difference in braking. All right guys, so now I'm gonna ask my wife to come help me with bleeding the brakes. She's been pushing the brake pedal. The fluid I've changed in here recently, so the fluid is pretty new. So I'm just gonna add a little bit and flush it out. So here we go. That's what they come out to look like. Really happy with the result. And I love how the big uh, caliper and the rotor that's the 17 inch uh, stock wheel. Makes it look so much better. Like it. Next upgrade, I'm gonna get some, um, these are 235, 45s. I'm thinking of putting uh, some 245, some better grippier tires and uh, coilovers, sway bars, some suspension work because this thing has been in a stock suspension for a while and it's making a little bit more power than factory so I wanted to uh, increase the stability and the handling of the car so stay tuned there'll be some more videos coming out soon thanks everybody for watching please like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time